A Cape Town surgeon is making waves in the medical profession as the very first woman to perform robotic surgery in the country. She's just skillfully performed a robotic assisted hysterectomy, another first for South Africa. Tanya Neff chats to the doctor about this breakthrough technology. She knew from an early age that as a woman she wanted to make a difference in the medical field by changing the landscape of the profession. Dr. Vazana Kasim has made her mark as the country's very first robotically trained female surgeon. It is extremely exciting. From very early on in my career I knew that I wanted to make things sort of more um, accessible for, for women and women in surgery. When I started out there weren't many um, women in general surgery, never mind in urology, never mind doing robotic surgery. So it's always been a dream to uplift the women in society. I think we have a very important role to play. It's wonderful to have this opportunity and to, to be able to um, train on the, on the robot. Dr. Kasim says the state-of-the-art system that somewhat resembles a large octopus with many tentacles allows surgeons to really get up close and personal. When you're sitting at the console, it's like you're inside the patient's abdomen. Your vision is amazing, your precision with the fine instruments is incredible and what you are able to do and the time in which you are able to achieve it in is phenomenal. Our patients, when we did our first five cases, our patients went home day one post-op, uh, which is pretty amazing considering they'd had you know, a hysterectomy and um, sacral pexy and various other things done to them. She's a wife, a mother, a urologist and a urogynecologist. Dr. Kasim is set on training future doctors to consider this field of medicine. It adds a lot of layers to your general working life because it's not just patients you're focusing on, but it's quite um, wonderful because you're not just helping one patient that you're seeing one-on-one, -on -one. you're now able to help others and they're going to help a whole lot of other people. So it has this knock-on effect. It's quite an honor to be able to have that sort of effect in shaping young minds and helping them to help others. According to Dr. Kassim, this modern technology not only allows for faster and more efficient surgeries, but also optimizes patient recovery time. With only two of these robotic systems in the state sector, her hope is that this will soon change in the future. Tanya Neft, Cape Town.